Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner for a ham shack chat. Now, this time around, we're going to be taking a look at the ARCP 890 radio control program for the TS-890 by Kenwood. I'll be going through downloading and installing the program, uh, connecting it up with the TS-890, and reviewing some of the capabilities. In particular, we will take a look at the DSP equalizer settings, memories, menu functions, and finally, one neat trick that will make your setup in the future much quicker. One thing to note is that Kenwood has been providing these programs for many years. In the HF world, they go back to the TS-2000, which was one of my favorite rigs. They also have memory loading programs for mobile and handheld rigs. Now, I'll be showing you where to find the complete list of what's available when we get to the website. Okay, so here's the Kenwood USA. We're going to click on communications. Then we're going to select amateur radio. We'll scroll down until we get to the TS-890. Click on Support. Go to the bottom of the page. You go to Amateur Radio Products Software. And you'll see we start off with our HFs, which is TS-990, 890, 590, 590S, 480 and TS-2000. All of these have uh, radio control programs. Uh, in the case of the uh, 480, it's an ARCP 480. Uh, and in the case of the TS-890, it's the ARCP 890. However, I do want, to, do want to show you they do have a number of mobiles that uh, have uh, selections here, uh, whether they're discontinued or not, and uh, a bunch of handhelds, and other discontinued products. So if you happen to have a TMD 700, well, you can get information from there. So what you're going to want to do, I'm going to explain on the 890, but the process is pretty much the same for all of those. You can click on that. This is all the information you need to know about the ARCP 890. And it's got the operating environment. And you'll notice that it is Windows only. Uh, and uh, what you need for your display, usage notes, uh, and how to install, and how to uninstall, right there. And finally, you come down here to the link. Click on that link, it will download the uh, latest version for you. And uh, I'm assuming that you guys already know how to download a program. The first step in getting your program to work is to make sure that you've got your uh, serial ports all set up and ready to go. Uh, you're familiar with Device Manager and the ports COM and LPT. So, I'm going to turn on my rig now and you will see that I now have COM 3 and 4 identif identified. Uh, COM 3 is my standard port and COM 4 is my enhanced port. I also have the standard serial port in the back, the RS-232 port coming in on COM 14. Uh, we'll go ahead and get out of here, and I'm going to run the program. On my desktop, I have a folder called Ham Radio. And I've kept all my Ham Radio stuff that I like to uh, access quickly. Uh, for instance, all my ADIs and Cabrillo files, all my Ham Radio manuals, the question pools, because, uh, yes, I'm working on a video about... Uh, uh, the the tests uh, the radio programmers are here so I'm going to do that go into there 
And most of these are my RT systems stuff, uh, but here's the ACRP or ARCP uh, 890. So we'll click on that and open up the ACRP 890. First thing you want to do is come up here to your settings, which is located under the, the toolbar here. Then uh, this is the area you want to work in. Uh, you do want to use it to give you a caution right here. It says, when using a USB connector, using the virtual COM port, select the virtual COM port standard. In my case, that's three. You can also go to the RS-232 port if you want, which is COM14 for me. Um, but we'll go ahead and just select that. Uh, you want your uh, bit, bit rate set. And I like to check this one, the automatically set the TS-890 clock to the PC's clock when connecting. So you click OK. That'll close, and it'll tell you next time you connect, it'll be good. So we're going to go up here and connect. And you see I am now connected, and it's refreshing everything. And that's how you get connected. If you've ever set the DSP equalizers in if you've ever set the DSP equalizers in the 890, you know that there are a lot of adjustments, uh, frequency adjustments across the band. And it can be a little daunting. It's a lot easier here. So we're going to start with the uh, RX DSP equalizer and we're going to configure the RSP. So you see you get a nice small band here. I've set this one up for uh, contesting. And uh, of course if you want to go wider you can. You can just adjust these knobs up and down uh, as you need them. And then you can save them. I'm going to copy these to user 2. Uh, yeah, I want those on user 2. Uh, note that it is uh, sensitive to the RX mode. If I set my radio over here to CW, I'm only looking for my side tone. Uh, so my side tone is set to uh, either 750 or 800, right around there. So I'm only popping these two up. Everything else is suppressed across the board. And yes, we could copy those. Uh, same thing goes with RIDI and PSK and AM. Uh, you could do AM here. Let's. There's AM. So uh, you do have some presets. So if you want to use the high boost, you can. Uh, low, low boost or bass boost, you can get those. Uh, and th those are presets. Or you can come down here and set them to the users. Uh, in this case, user one is the one I was showing you up on SSB. Uh, the transmit equalizer is pretty much the same. Uh, just go ahead and show you that real fast. Again, DSP filter, uh, TX DSP equalizer, and this is where my output voice is going. And I'm using the high boost. And uh, so uh, it's it's pretty neat, pretty nice. So uh, you'll find uh, adjusting it here is a lot easier than adjusting it on the rig. The next thing I want to show you is the memories. And all your memories can be set here. Uh, you can go direct. You can have your quick memories. I really don't use memories, but you can see here, you can go in, you can say, okay, I want to change channel one to a particular memory that could be the county hunter's net or the worked all states net or the, uh, the out on the ocean net. <laughs> so uh, there, there's a bunch of nets. And uh, if there's one that you like to check into, you could uh, press the memory and you do have 99 selections uh, you can also if you like have a, a, a 10 meter FM repeater in your area or a 6 meter FM repeater in your area 
uh, you can go uh, and set that up in a memory location. So you have that. Next, I want to talk to you about menu functions, uh, which is very handy because you can go into your menu functions here and you'll see that everything is set. Everything is laid out just like it is on your screen, but it's a little handier. So you go into audio performance and it's going to give you everything, everything that you need. You want to do a CW configuration. Here it is. Everything that you want to use for CW. Uh, now here's where all your TX filters are, which are right there. And uh, you can, you can go there. It's handy just having them in a single spot. You can also, uh, let me go here, go up to tools again, go into your advanced memories. And these are all the ones that you get in uh, that you usually don't have to talk about. Let's say you want to check your firmware version. Well, my firmware version is 1.02. Uh, you can do that on the screen uh, ju just almost as easily. But uh, next one I want to show you is uh, why, if you set them here, it, it's a good thing. Now, the very last thing that I want to show you, and I promise this is the last thing. It comes in very handy. Now, if you're like me, you use your rig for a lot of different modes. Maybe, you know, you bounce between CW, PSK, FT8, uh, uh, slow scan TV, voice. I don't do a lot of voice, but yeah, I do it sometimes. What you can do is once you get yourself all set up, you can come here and you can save your file. You get to select what you want to do. So your memory channels, slow scan, point of program, slow scan, uh, menu functions, and uh, there, you know, that's all the menu functions that you set for the mode that you like to use and the auto mode frequency. Uh, auto mode frequency is uh, simply where you can adjust when you change frequencies. It'll put it in what, what mode is uh, appropriate for that frequency. So you just click OK. And you see I have here... Uh, let's, I'm going to use, put this in as demo and uh, I'm going to save it. Yes, I want to write over it. And you see it says don't do anything. Now that has just been saved. So next, uh, now that we've saved that demo, that, that was just a demo to show you that you could save it. Uh, say I wanted to go work some FT8. Well, I have certain ways that I like my rig set up for SFT8. I can come down here and write my FT8 setup. Click open. Yes, I want all of these things going. And yes, write it to the FT8. Da -da -da -da, and don't worry about that. Just click OK. And you see, it has just written all of my FT8 stuff. Very much a time saver, especially if you uh, are going into the menus and changing stuff and then forget what you changed and want to go back. Uh, I use it a lot with ready contesting. Uh, if, if I just want to do a, a ready contest, I've got a ready file up there uh, and I can go up there and have, uh, you know, I can write that file to my uh, Kenwood and not worry about it. And again, this, uh, this particular function operates identical to the function in, uh, for the 990. Uh, it is very similar to the functions on the 590s, uh, the 480s, and even going back to your uh, TS-2000 if you got one of those. By the way, that was one of my favorite rigs. And that's the Amateur Radio Control Program for the TS-890 or ARCP-890. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, content and got something out of it. Now, this has been a 10,000 foot look at the radio control program, but 
if you're familiar with the TS-890, you should be pretty adaptable to using it. Uh, it might even find it easier to use since everything is in a single location. Play with it and tell me what you think about it down in the comments. Questions? Comments? Please remember to like. Please like me. Please. Share. Sharing is fun. And consider subscribing. I subscribe to Team Beat. Take a look at this video right here where I show you how to set up a keyboard for using CW, FSK, and PSK on your TS-890. And this will also work if you have a TS-990. Wink, wink. As always, I'm at your service. 7-3. Until the next Hey Y'all, I'm Tom, ND3N, and I'm out.